and we are live. Hey guys, sorry I was logged out of my YouTube account and had to find my password. So there we go. So it is Let's Get Wired. We are October 3rd at 12 noon Eastern time here in Montreal. So if you're hopping on, let me know if you're participating in Let's Get Wired. Hi Mia, how are you? I'm going to pull up the video and we are going to do some Halloween decorations and jewelry. So if you guys don't already know, uh, Let's Get Wired is a series that I've started where we work at the same time, we create stuff at the same time, and then what we do is we share photos of our work on Discord. Hi, Almond. Hey, Clarice. Hi, Peggy. So I'm just going to pull up the, um, the uh, Login for uh, Discord. Oh, we've got Lorraine, Auntie Mary. Awesome. So let me just pull, pull up the invitation to Discord. So if you're not already in uh, Discord, be sure to join. Then there's Paula and Jenny. I'm just sort of going back and forth trying to find things as we go. And then I'll check in with the comments. So here, let's just get the invitation. So let me know in the comments if you're already in Discord. And what we're going to do is uh, partway along the way, we're going to start sharing uh, pictures of what we're looking at. Uh, no, you didn't miss anything, Paula. We just, just started. And so if you don't, if you didn't already see, I put the templates. Hi, Amber. Hey, full of ideas. I, I put the templates in the community section of the uh, YouTube channel and also in Discord. So here comes the link to Discord. Let me Discord. And you can join that group and then you're going to go to the hashtag just got my templates printed awesome so just go to let's get wired on discord and then and then you're going to be able to share pictures of your work so we have Mustafa hey Mustafa I think I saw did I see everybody here if I haven't replied to your comments just let me know so yeah so I, I made some Oh, you weren't late, Mustafa. We're just starting. So here's the templates. We're going to kind of go by these. This is just a little guideline just to have some ideas of where we're going to be. Can't be on Discord. My computer's dead. Oh, that's too bad. Well, maybe, um, hmm, we'll have to see. Maybe we could figure out that you can uh, DM someone a picture and, and they can share it. So, hey, Becca, how you doing? So what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I'm going to show you a few things uh, that I have, a few Halloween things that I have already, and then we're going to work on some other things. So let me flip the screen. I'm going to just flip it around. There we go. Perfect. And, okay, perfect. So last time, I think I showed you some of this stuff before. We're not going to do this one, but this is a fun one with the, with the, um, with the skeleton. And Alman, did Alman hop on? Okay, yeah, he, he was the first one on. There we go. Perfect, of course. So now, these, I just wanted to show you these for fun. So these are some like skeletons that I did before. If we have time, I might try to work on the skeletons. Uh, but just to show you, like I do a lot of workshops with kids. So this was one I did with kids, which is super easy. It's not even wire. It's just made with little plastic tubing and buttons and beads. So there's all kinds of fun things you could do. And then I think I showed you guys that the last time, the bead from the uh, massage uh, chair that a lot of taxi drivers have them in their car. And so those are super fun. And then I just found these. We're not going to make these, but my sister made me these. These are little funny like teeth earrings. I thought they were super cute and kind of ghoulish for Halloween. But look, they open and close. So I thought those were super adorable. I love doing like crafty stuff like that too. I thought this would be super cute actually to make out of wire with beads for the for the um for the teeth. I thought that would be super super cute. And then here's another one uh, that I did a while ago. This one's very doable as well if you have small beads like seed beads or something so that's like a little skull with the bead weaving which is really cute so that one's super fun this one is really easy this is like a fun foam ghost with um sharpie drawn on for the eyes and little beads so this is something that's fun for kids too that's really cute and then on the tip tuesday i had made like just little simple earrings uh with skull beads so these beads are amazing uh, people were asking me where i got these beads and i got them on i got them on um where was it uh etsy i think yeah 
there's Amanda. Hi, Amanda. How are you? I'm just showing some Halloween stuff that I have already. And then I used to do a lot of crafts with kids. So I used to make these little kits. So this is like a spider kit. Uh, let me move this other stuff over. And so the spider kit was really fun. I used to bring these to uh, like birthday parties and things like that. They have them at Joanne's. They, they, I think they have them at Michael's too, those skull beads. So I made like little directions. This is like uh, old information and stuff. I won't show you <laughs> my address. There we go. And so this is all like a uh, little... Um, little instructions and then so I would put the beads in like that and then I'd have like the little the little pipe cleaners already pre-cut so that's super fun and easy to do so basically for this one all I did was I would get like the the four uh, pipe cleaners and you could probably do this with regular wire too so this this is just the concept but you could we could play around with doing it with regular wire as well as well and then today guys whatever you make that's halloweeny that's sort of inspired by what we're doing uh just you know we'll share the pictures in the discord as well so this there's in theory they're supposed to all fit through this bead because uh these beads have a really big hole so the idea behind this and it's super easy for kids so you would just bring it like this and then kind of center that and then just kind of fiddle them around so they're the same length type of things. So we're just gonna play around with them. These ones got twisted for some reason. I'm not sure why those got twisted. Anyways, so we go. So we're just going to just kind of do like this. And then what you wanna do is you would just take like two of the legs that are here, maybe the long, if you have a wire that's a little bit longer. So you would just take these and you would stick one other bead here. This one's actually glow in the dark. And then you kind of place it this way and then put this one through the other end. I have to straighten the end out a little bit. And we're going to stick this one through here and pull this tight. So that would be sort of the idea like this. And then we can just, I think that's how I did it. Looks a little strange now, but that's basically what I did before with the kids there. They're not too fussy about how things look. So basically it was just like this. So this is like a super fun, if you have like young uh, children or grandchildren, this is a really fun thing to do. So just like a little, a little spider thing like that. So that was super fun, very easy to do. And then the other thing that I used to do with kids were um, like little ghost earrings. So I have one little one here with the little ghost and what this one is super easy so this one you can actually do with a, an old plastic bag so like i have like old pieces of plastic bag or you can use like t like these are the pieces i cut the same size you could use t-shirt fabric which is that's t-shirt fabric and then you can also use cotton or uh this this is like a fabric they use to make kites or something. So that's really fun. So this one's super simple to use, to make. I'll show you how to do it. And then basically what you do is you would take your, take your fabric and either cut squares or a little hack if you have a fabric that's uh, cut on the, like that has, um, how do you say, not woven, but yeah, woven, I guess. It not uh, knitted is what I meant to say, because this doesn't, you can't do this with you can't do this with t-shirt fabric because it doesn't tear but with other fabric like cotton broadcloth things like that you can or gauze gauze would work too yeah you can do cheesecloth anything like that oh this one actually doesn't rip but usually this type of fabric will rip like if it's cotton but basically yeah so you would cut your squares and if you want to make a perfect square it doesn't have to be a perfect square but you can just cut it like put it on an angle like this and put it like that and basically what you would do is you would get a bead so I use eight millimeter beads I use the pearls and I was going to put a head pin but the trouble with the head pin is um, this hole is really big and it went right through the head pin so what I'll do is get some uh, wire okay 
tissue paper might be a little fragile. I think it might be a little fragile. You could try it and be careful with it, but you might also want to like protect it with a varnish or something so it won't tear. Or maybe if you did a double layer of tissue, you could try it. But the plastic bag is kind of cool. I think the plastic bag is gonna work quite well. So if you're poking it through fabric, cut your wire on a bit of an angle so it's sharp. And then just take the end of the wire and do like a little loop. Actually, this one was already cut on an angle, so now I have to cut the other end flush because I don't want it to be pokey. And so basically, we're just going to take this end, put it into a little circle, a little loop, and then we put our little bead on there. I did my skeleton earrings. Awesome. Fantastic. So now we're going to post this in or put this into the middle. Okay, this one I haven't tried with this fabric, but we're going to see. Actually, let, let me just do it with this t-shirt fabric because this is then I can make a match for the other one. So just poke it somewhat in the middle here. You might have to like wiggle it around to get it in there. So basically, you're going to put it in there and then get some thinner wire. I'm going to use some 24 gauge wire, but if you don't have all these gauges of wires, just use what you have. Like you could use a 22. 20 might be a little difficult because it's thick. It might be a little hard to manipulate. But what we're basically going to do is just take this and very like kind of carefully and gently just pull, pull the fabric down around it. Okay, we're just going to pull it down around the bead. Okay, and then take your thinner wire and... I guess you could even use like thread or something as well. But this, I love working with the 24 gauge wire because it's almost like, like thread in a way, but you don't have to finish the ends. It's sort of like you could almost sew with them, but sew with it, but you don't have to uh, stitch over the ends. So then you just go ahead and clip, go ahead and clip the ends. And then if you want, you can just, you know, push it in with the, with that there. So there's our little ghosty, super, super cute. And then we're going to clip the end. I got the white plastic from a tarp. Oh, that works. Okay, I'm, there's all kinds of ways you could find little bits of white plastic, you know. it's. Uh, I also used to recycle, you know, when you get those blow up toys to go in the, in the swimming pool and uh, they break, often I'll recuperate the plastic and use it for arts and crafts and stuff. So. So that's a, a possibility too. So now you're just going to twist this one around. And basically, there's your little ghost, okay? You can do the dots with Sharpie, but uh, Sharpie can bleed a little bit. So uh, you can also use like black nail polish or, or black, this is acrylic paint. So there's all kinds of things you can use. You don't need a lot of paint. So you just get a little bit of the acrylic paint. And this is where I want to have a steady hand. So we'll see how this goes. But when it gets to be around lunchtime, my hands get a little shaky because I get hungry, but it's all good. So we're just going to take like a gob of the paint. Let me just move that out of the way and just do like a little eye there. And then another gob. And in there, I should have maybe broken the end of the toothpick so it would be a little bit wider but it should be all right so you just go there and then the little mouth there so there's this face is a little more defined than that face but that's all good it just shows you the difference so there you have your little ghost earrings and then we can put the earring hooks on them uh okay i'm missing some things i don't have any white fabric i'm going to try these with pretty pattern fabric oh that would be so so cute i would love to see them with yeah different see this is why i love doing these live streams because you guys have such amazing ideas and i love that idea it's going to be like a little rustic chic ghosts right so i think that's a really cool idea a Mardi Gras uh, ghost. Shoot, there we go. We could do all kinds of themes for the ghost. Yeah, it's a great idea. So here's, yeah, I can't wait to see what you guys make. So when you do make some, I'll, I'll uh, check the Discord group and see. Yeah, very rustic. Yeah, so here we go. So there's these ghosts. And then say, for example, you're using the plastic bag. And um, I had some head pins. So let me just get a head pin here. So here's the actual, like if you want to actually use head pins, you could definitely do that too. 
and say we use like a smaller bead, like just to show you the difference between the 18 gauge and the uh, 20 gauge. So here's, uh, I'm not 20 gauge, the uh, eight millimeter and the six millimeter. So here's a six millimeter. It actually stays on the head pin, which is good. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to, oh, a delicate lacy ghost. Oh yes, definitely. That would be super awesome using lace. I love that idea. Amazing. So we're going to cut that on an ang angle so it's a little pokey. Now with the plastic bag, it will be a little more fragile just because uh, the plastic can tear. So just be careful if you're doing, doing the plastic bag. And then I'm going to get another piece of the thinner wire. Uh, and this is, I'm going to use the 24, but if uh, you could also use like a 26, if the 24 is too thick as well, you could definitely use like a, a 26 gauge as well. Yeah, lace would be super cute. <laughs> so let's do this. So now we're gonna try it with the with the plastic bag, but we're gonna just have to be super careful because it is much more fragile. So we're just gonna go like around like this. And it's a little trickier too because the bead is six millimeters, so it's a little bit smaller. So we're just gonna go in here. And I guess you could just kind of twist it a little bit if you have to. And then we're just going to get our little piece. I just cut my nails so it's a little tricky. And we're going to bring it around a few times here. Okay, so that's not too bad. And then we'll just clip the ends. And then we could try it with the Sharpie as well to see if that works well. So there's like a little tiny ghost, which is kind of cute. But in a pinch, like if you don't have fabric, uh, the plastic bag works pretty well. So that's kind of cool. So now we're going to take this and bring it around. Maybe I need my smaller pliers for this. So we're gonna bring it around here. Perfect, so there's like the little ghost and you can just kind of play around with this. And then where you, when you wanna do the face, you wanna make sure it's on a smoothish smooth area. And then I'll get my a sharpie and we'll just try a little face on him so let's go uh beetlejuice oh that's funny that's an old movie eh wow so yeah so let's see if this is gonna draw on there very well with the sharpie you can use a thicker sharpie this one's pretty good so we'll just do it yeah it's a little crinkly there but there so there's a the little ghost like that so that's super cute cool so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to get the um another project let's get the templates okay so let's go ahead let me know if you've printed out the templates so we're going to put these here and then what i want to do is i'm going to try i wanted to try the witch i thought it was super fun so let's try the witch and i'll get a thinner wire than like not too thick maybe 18 gauge but even 18 might be a little thick i think i'm going to go for the 20 for this just to keep it really simple so I'm gonna do the 20 gauge wire. There we go. And we're gonna basically, so these templates, you can print out any size, you know, if you wanted to um, print them a little bigger, you can always, uh, if, you have a, if you have a Word document, you can, you can uh, like kind of uh, screenshot the, the picture, put it on a Word document and increase and, and decrease it to any size that you want. So let's go ahead and get some wire. And um, we're going to try to trace the witch. And yeah, like I said, if I was doing a bigger decoration, I would use a thicker wire. But because it's, um, it's just for a prototype, I'm going to use the thinner wire. It's going to be a little easier to work with. So for this witch, let's try to cut a piece that's about 18 inches long. That's probably too long. And then we're just gonna go for this. So maybe what I'll do is, because Ginger, you always mentioned to uh, take notes about the uh, lengths of the wires. So I'm gonna start with a 18 inch, 20 gauge silver wire for the witch. And then that way I can tweak it. If it's, if it's too long, I could, I could always uh, uh, tweak it later. So, and I probably end up doing like a little hook or something at the top, although I don't have to. I could probably finish it here on the hand actually. So what I was thinking to do is, uh, so I just have to remember what I did here. I went that way 
and that way and that way. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of trace the design. To me, it's almost easier to do it freehand, but I'm just gonna to try to trace this design just to see. So let's go and do this type of thing. And as always, I'm very happy that you guys are chatting in the in the comments because that means that I can kind of focus on the making. And then uh, if you have any questions and I miss your comment, just let me know. So let's just trace this one around and just get a sort of an approximate, like you can kind of take it off and play around with it. Sometimes it's good just to like put it back and forth just to make sure it's staying more or less the same kind of dimensions, the same proportions. We're gonna bring it up here and just keep kind of twisting it around. So we're gonna go up here and then, basically it's just to kind of get the design portion of things correctly. So we're just gonna see, see how that goes. So we're gonna go here and bring this down and around and kind of play around with it to get the size. So that one's a little bit high. So I'll just bring that one down here. And yeah, like I said, sometimes it's easier for me just to like go from scratch and not use the template, but for the sake of the of the video, I'm gonna use it to the, the best that I can. So let's go ahead. Okay, we'll go around here. I love pumpkins, yes. Pumpkins, I have the pumpkin too. I wanna to definitely try that one as well because these are two designs that I've created a template but I actually haven't done them before. So that's always fun to do on the live stream, sort of a new design. So there's the hat. I mean, you could even do a earring that's just a witch's hat as well. It's, that would be super cute. So now what we wanna do is bring it down and form the face and the hair. So the hair basically is, we'll just kind of bring it down here and then bring this one down here for the face. And I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of do the face a little bit by eye because it's very fine detail. So we're gonna go in there. It's hard to get much of a, like a really defined face, but it's just kind of a representative of the witch face. We're gonna go down there and around here. Perfect. And then we're gonna bring it back and do like her hair. And I thought it would be also fun to add hair. Actually, you know what I, th I think I'm gonna do because I like that idea of adding like different hair after. So I'm actually gonna skip that, I think. I'm gonna just bring this down here and add the hair after. I kind of prefer that idea. So I'm gonna just go down here and bring this down. Just trying to see, yeah, I think I'm gonna add it after because right now it looks a little bit like a scarf. So I think I'm gonna have, I did it freehand, it wouldn't look as like a face. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it just, sometimes it's easier freehand, sometimes it's easier with the with the jig, uh, like, like a template or a jig, but usually I have more success when I just try to do it freehand. It's just sometimes the, the proportions are really difficult, like, you know, just to get it somewhat proportional. So now we're going to bring this around. Okay bring this around here and the broom is actually going to be a different separate wire so we're going to bring this down here and just kind of trace it sometimes it's easier without the without the tools as well and then here we're just going to bring it down here and then this one we're going to be so that's sort of in a good position to go onto the broom and then here we can just kind of have a nice little kind of a dress that's kind of like flowing in the wind type of thing. So that's good. And then same thing here. You can just kind of do like a flow thing going on. Looks a little more like organic. And we're just gonna see where she's at. Bring this up here. Yep. And just follow this around. Yeah, it's, it's fun doing this live because you know what? I, I did this template last night. I didn't uh, make a prototype, but I kind of prefer just troubleshooting on the spot because uh, the ideas kind of flow when you just start making it and not try not to overthink it too much because sometimes when you have too much time on your hand uh, to think about the design, then you get blocked. But if you just kind of go for it 
And then the pressure, of course, of just like being live and doing it live is fun. I want purple and black wire. Oh, yes. Yeah, there's, um, I actually have some other wire I might try later, which is the tricolor wire from Artistic uh, Wire. But uh, I hadn't thought if I would use it today or not, but I pulled it out just in case. So there we go. So we're going to go like this. And then what I wanted to do was actually do the broom with a separate wire. So I was thinking to do the broom with 18 gauge wire. So let's just take the 18 gauge wire. And also I don't need it to be too big because I want to add a different gauge for the broom part. So let's just go ahead and cut a piece of 18 gauge. And then I'm going to get the 24 gauge wire. And like I said, the, the wires for these designs are optional. Just use what you have and, um, and, and go from there. So let's just get a whole bunch of this 24 gauge wire. I'll just, I will measure it just to see. So we're gonna cut a piece that's, say, uh, it's 18. So let's just say two feet long. It's probably way too long, but we'll watch uh, 24 gauge two feet long. So let's go ahead with this. And then what I thought would be cool for the broom is just to kind of wind it around. I think that would be good. So if we just take it and let's see how big we would want it. We want it to be maybe like that. I'm going to measure that. So about two inches. So if we just take this uh, wire here, if you had something to wind it around like a cardboard, it could be good. So let me just grab a piece of cardboard because sometimes it's fun to do something like that. I just want to make sure I have like a little cardstock or something. Yeah, so I'm going to just cut a piece of cardstock and just get that going. And let's see, that's about two inches. Yeah, so I'm just going to fold it like that and see if that's going to be easier. And just wind it around here. Let's just see how this is gonna work. This is, I'm just winging it here, guys. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this, but it should be okay. So we're gonna go, Oreo started watching. <laughs> there we go, maybe you saw the cat. There's the cat. So we're gonna just wind this around loosely, very loosely. Okay, perfect, like that. So this is just, I'm really just playing around with this. We're gonna see what's gonna happen. And so if we take this, and I don't really want too many sharp ends. So what if I wind it with the end of this wire? Okay, we're gonna wind it with the end of this wire here. And this is the 18 gauge wire. So we're gonna just bring this around here. Maybe I should wind it a couple of times. And then if I just bring this and fold it, Okay, let's see what's gonna happen if we just fold it here. Okay, this maybe I didn't need to wind it out as many times as that, maybe not two times. Let's just, let me just do it one time, I think. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to do it one time because it's going to be a little, and uh, da, da, da. I'm gonna bend this one back a little bit. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to actually clip this here because I don't want it wound around too many times. There we go. Oh, did I cut myself? Nope, didn't cut myself. So then we're gonna just push it here. Let me remove the templates now. I don't think we need that. It's a little distracting. So here is it attached to the 18 gauge wire and then you can clip it in a little bit. Favorite Halloween candy. Oh yes, I love um, Coffee Crisp, which is a chocolate bar that you can buy here in Canada. But I posted, uh, I, I told someone about a Coffee Crisp once and this person was from Australia and they'd never heard of a Coffee Crisp. So I don't think it's available everywhere, which, uh, which I'm surprised because I thought it would just be international. But yeah, I love Coffee Crisp. That's my favorite for sure. So now what I'm doing is I'm just winding it around so it looks somewhat like a broom. I'm not 100% convinced about the way I've attached it here because now I'm thinking maybe it should have been a little bit different, but I think it's all right. Like I, I could have like wound it more around the bottom. I think there's a lot you can do with this idea. 
I'm just going to pinch it in so it doesn't flip as much. But I think you could definitely like kind of wind it up a little bit more. So we're just going to like kind of wind this around here so it looks somewhat like a broom. And then I'm going to cut this. I have also not heard of coffee crisps. Okay, well, I guess it's just in North America. Uh, they're awesome. If you like coffee and you like chocolate, they're really good. So actually, this is this other end. I think I'm going to wind it around too because I don't want any sharp ends. Especially if I made this super small as a as an earring, I wouldn't want any sharp ends. So now this, you can just kind of spread it around. You can just spread this around like this to, to be sort of like a little witch's broom. I kind of like the way it looks, guys. It's not too bad. It looks maybe a little bit like a flower. I guess you could cut the ends if you want it more. If it's a decoration and you don't mind those being... Okay, let's just see the difference. This is how it looks like bent. Oh, Reese, Reese's Pieces, I love those. So, and then let's just clip these ends to see the difference because I think, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna look more convincing like a broom if we just cut the ends. So we're just gonna cut the ends and so it's gonna look more like a broom. I thought it would be good with the like the back and forth thing, but it doesn't actually look like a broom. So there we go. Looks more like a broom when the ends are actually cut. So that's good to know. That's super cool, I really like that. So now we have to attach the witch somehow. So witchy's gonna go on here and the idea was just to attach her hands. So let's go ahead and We'll attach this one hand here. It looks more like a broom, eh? It's amazing how one little tweak can completely transform a design. And that's the thing, you, you should never get discouraged with something you're working on because sometimes it's just a matter of having like a little tweak and then it um, it's okay. Like the, on, the only problem now is this moves around, but I think that could have been uh, avoided if I maybe like wound it up and tight a little more tightly. But for now, I'm okay with that because it's basically an, a, a decoration and it's not going to be having a lot of uh, wear and tear. Happy accidents. Absolutely. For sure. So there we go. So let's just take this and I'm going to wind it towards the middle, so it's gonna almost look like her fingers. So if we bring that in here, wind it in here, okay, and actually a little hack is if we separate them a little bit, we might be able to overlap the wires so they hold together. So let's just make sure there's a little bit of a separation in between those. And then for this side, and we're also gonna have to maybe attach her little butt at some point, but for now, I think it's okay and we'll just actually I know how I'll do it I'll probably add the hair and that'll work so now we're just going to bring this arm down here see at what place we want to do it here and then I'm going to help it out with the pliers we're just going to help that up around there and we're going to go in here and after this let's do the pumpkin and then it's, it's going to be good that you guys have a few options of what you want to work on and then for these let's get wired things uh, no pressure uh let me just see no pressure to do things today you know we have the discord group going online and uh and you can definitely you know take your time post later in the week add pictures as as you have them it's definitely no pressure to finish any projects today because I know some people just take their time and work on them uh, slowly and sometimes you get different inspirations during the week. So here's the witch so far on her broom. Now the broom's getting a little bit distorted, but that's okay. So we're just gonna bring her down a little bit here. Okay, and you can also, I'm just trying to think of what I want to do. If I want to bring the wire back, I could bring the wire back and see how it goes. I could. I have got nothing to lose because I could just cut it if I wanted to. But I'm going to bring the wire back. Okay, we're going to go from here and let's see she's about here. I just want to make sure there's enough of the wire to do something else with. So the wire actually might look better if it's kind of doubled. So in theory, I might better have wound those two hands around both wires, but because I didn't, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we're just going to bring this here. 
but this is where you guys can get creative and do what you want. So it kind of looks better with a double wire. It just looks a little thicker. And then as a, as a sort of a bonus, I'm going to wind it around the bottom and hopefully it's going to tighten up this broom part here. Hopefully we'll see, we'll see what it does. Cause if I just wind it around a couple of times, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's just try to wind it around a few times. It's still wiggly, but it's not awful. Yeah, it's still wiggly quite a bit, but that's okay. It's just it's just the idea. I'm not sure I like that around there actually. Not certainly not four times, but maybe just maybe just a couple of times or three times because we found actually I don't mind it just two times. I think I don't want it wound around there too much. But it's okay just a couple of times. And like I said, uh, once the once the piece is done, you're not going to see that too much. Now, this is kind of like moving around a little bit, but I think there's going to be a way to fix this. Let me just see. I'm just going to wind this around here and see if I like the way that looks. I kind of like the way that it looks a little bit thicker. So it's up to you if you want to do a double strand for the broom or not, or a single. Okay, I'm going to pull it back again because uh, I always like to compare things and see how they look. So I'm not sure I'm loving the way that looks there. So I'm just gonna pull it back and see how we see how we do. So we're just gonna pull it back here, remove this, and I think I might have a better way to do this. So yeah, so there we're gonna go. We're gonna remove that, pull it back here, and the see what we're gonna do with this end. Okay, this is where the wheels start turning and you start to wonder what exactly you're going to do. The other thing is you could do like even a thicker wire for that one and it would be fine as well. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just, because I don't want the whole thing to pull out, I'm just going to clip the end. Yeah, I'm just gonna clip the end and wind it down. And for now it's gonna be fine. I probably, if I did another one, I might do it a little bit differently. But for now, that's just the idea. And now I wanna add some hair. So let me just see what I can do to add some hair. I might end up just clipping that end off. I'm not quite sure. But so far, she's kind of interesting. We just have to adjust the shape a little bit. And that's just sort of the idea for like how you could do the witch on a broom. I love the broom actually. But now let's put some hair. So I'm going to see what I have for hair. I have the colored wire, the multicolored wire, which I, yeah, it might work all right, the multicolored wire, or I have like a twisted copper wire. So you guys let me know which one you want me to use for the hair. Uh, you never cease to assist me. Aw, oh, thank you, Jenna Jo. I have a lot of fun. So do you guys like the um, multicolored wire or the twisted wire for the hair? And I'll add some hair onto, onto her. So whatever you guys think, multi, okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's try this multicolor wire. This is really fun. This is only the second time I've using this. Oh, that works out well, it's not too thick either. It's 22 gauge. So what we can do for that is just cut a bunch of pieces. I kind of like this multicolored wire. So let me, again, measure so I have an idea. So if we cut a bunch of pieces that are maybe about five inches long or something, so we're just gonna cut a couple. And probably the best way to attach the wire is we're going to take, uh, just take it here and wind it around. So if we take this and wind this one around here, okay, and then we're going to take another one and wind it around and Okay, uh, do I want to wind it the same way? Let me just see, maybe I'll wind it the same way because that way it can kind of like wind into each other. So if I go, I'm gonna to try to go the same direction for the hair, like so it, it gets kind of wound into each other and kind of twisted together. So I don't wanna to do too much here, but I'm gonna do another one and then we're gonna to have to find a way that it's not gonna twist all over the place. So we're gonna get this one and, okay. Put this one here and to secure it it's probably better like if we've gone around this way I think I'm going to also go around the hat 
to make sure it's secure in another direction because that's the thing for it not to twist you need it to be kind of attached in several different places so now same thing I'm going to go here and then twist it through and through a few times and then I think I might have to if I secure it to the broom it might also help to make it a little more solid. So that's, I'm gonna experiment with that and see how that goes. Cause right now you have like the hair kind of going towards the back, which works quite where, well. So if we just bring this down here, I don't know. I don't think I want it down there actually. So let's just put it back this way. The thing, the main thing is to make sure it's secure in another direction. So you might even have to like wind it around a couple of times in there just to make sure it's going to stay. So let me just pull that one in. Yeah, that's not too bad. So we pull it in like that. And you could probably even pull it in from the other side. That's pretty good. I think what I wanna do here is just add a little wire so it's not going to be going all over the place and also flipping. But I'm just trying to figure out the best because she's gonna be hanging like that. So it really, it actually doesn't really matter, you know? I think that one's okay. In fact, what I might even do is, I'm just gonna cut this end. I'm really not enjoying that. So we're just gonna cut that end like that. And hopefully it's not gonna like pull out, but to make sure it doesn't actually pull out of there, you can just really pinch this in place. So it actually makes a little indent in this wire so it won't pull out. So that should be fine. Sometimes it's better not to have too much twists or it's just going to get really messy. So now what we can do is just kind of like take our wire and it's kind of cool if it's a little crinkly and stuff for the witch because I'm pretty sure she doesn't brush her hair. So let's just kind of twist it back and forth and see. So we're gonna go around and around. Wind in the hair, yes, wavy, exactly. Perfect, so we're just gonna kind of go down and it looks so cool with the with the colored wire. I'm really happy I pulled that out of the box. So there we go. Uh, I'm a witch, but my hair is not like that. <laughs> yeah, I've been called a witch before too, but it's all good. Usually all for all for the good. There we go. So there we've got kind of cool. I like it. But now, of course, we have to give her a little bit of a haircut. So let's just go ahead and take some of these. Uh, wires and cut them a little bit more. So some longer, some shorter, some longer. There we go. Perfect. So there we go. Oh, that one's a little long too. So there we go. But I want to keep some of the multicolor on there. So there we go. So that's pretty good. So as a decoration, it's pretty good. Her hair's a little bit long. You know, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter. Okay, so now you've seen it long. So let's see it shorter. So that's the advantage of doing these is that, you know, if I want to see go back and see how it looked before, I could definitely go back. But I kind of like the idea of having a, well, that's not much shorter, but it's pretty good. So there's our little witch. She's kind of funky. You can make her any size, big or small. I really love the broom. So thank you. Awesome. I'm glad you like it. So there's, there's that one. So, so far we have the ghost and we have the witch on the broom. So now you can just wave it instead of cutting. Yeah, I could yeah, yeah, I could wave it a little more as well. That's a good idea for sure. So let's just put these ones at the side for now. I'm going to go back to this one. The one I really wanted to work on was the pumpkin. So I'm going to see what I have. I don't have orange wire but I have gold so maybe I'll go with the gold I have gold or I have brown so I have let me just find the, the gold I have the gold or the brown so what do you think for the pumpkin should I use gold or brown you guys can decide my five-year-old granddaughter is so impressed oh yay that's so fun and I will do the bat as well but I think I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the pumpkin first because I've been wanting to work out that design brown is nice Oh, copper. I don't know that I have plain copper. So if I had copper, it would be good. Mm -hmm. Let me just look quickly, but I'm pretty sure I don't have any copper right now. This is 18. Uh, yeah, I think 
I think I don't. I think I just have the, I think I just have that one. So 20 gauge, I'm gonna look. No, I don't have copper. So let's just use the brown because that's what I have right now. Oh, and then we have a bunch of, then we have a bunch of golds. You know what, I'm just gonna use the brown. It's gonna be easier to see as well. And then you guys can try it with the copper or with the gold for sure. So the idea for this, and just let me, I think I'm gonna just start with the outline and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna cut a piece, let me just cut a piece like eight inches long. So this thing, to this too, I'm gonna just do eight inch times 20 gauge and we'll cut a piece of this one. And is this, this is not 20 gauge, this is 18 gauge, which is not what I meant to take, but maybe, is it gonna be, I think it's gonna to be too thick now. Let me just see. I was thinking this was 18. Let me just check my 20 to see what I have. Um, this one's good. I'm gonna use this one. There we go, so this one's 20. Sorry guys, I just, I for the samples, I'd rather use a thinner wire. It's gonna be much easier for me to like work out the design. And then after I could try it with thicker wire, you know, on my own time type of thing. So let's just try, this is a, so this is a compromise between brown and gold. It's sort of a, I don't know what they call it. It's like a brass, antique brass. There we go. So that's a good compromise. So now we're going to just form the pumpkin. So let's just bring this around. Bring it around, form the pumpkin. It's not like super important, you know, how, if it's the right, right shape. So I'm uh, just thinking, okay, wait. Um, hmm, you know what? I have another idea. Okay, I'm gonna cut a slightly bigger piece. Sorry guys, there we go. So let's cut a slightly bigger piece. I'm gonna cut it like 12 inches, I think, should be good. Okay, so. This is, this is where we improvise, right? So here's 12 inches, and I want one end to be longer than the other. So if I start about here, and we're going to just start the shape, okay? Because I realized that I could do something with the other end. So we're gonna bring this around, bring it right around here. And there's some people in the Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, that have been making some super cute pumpkins that are basically like a little spring like sort of a coil and that they've kind of pulled around I have an earring design that's sort of like that it's just like a coiled circle you would see it in the in the 10 day earring making challenge and then but they've done like a coil like that and then put um like a little green stem on it so let me know in the comments uh, if you did that, Peggy, was that you that made that pumpkin? Or a couple of people in the group made pumpkins like that. And they were super, super cute and uh, very, very stylized. Yeah, I thought they were really cute. I haven't tried one yet. 3D pumpkins. Yeah, like the 3D pumpkins. that uh, There were a couple of people in the group that made them and they were really, really cool. So we're going to just bring that one up here. And then the idea is we want to take this here and wind it around here. So make sure it's like somewhat centered. If you're having trouble with the wire, like kind of like slipping as you twist it, help it out first. No, you haven't tried it yet. I forget who that was. Someone in the group, at least one or two people made pumpkins like that. And I just don't remember who it was. So now we're gonna go down here. So the idea that I had, we'll see if it's going to work is just to make the shapes. I'm gonna bend that at the side so it doesn't come out of, sh out, of, out of shape. So now I wanna form the nose and then also the mouth if it's going to work. Did Amanda make one? I wasn't sure if it, yeah, maybe Amanda made one. I think you're right. I think you're right. She was, she was one of the people that made one for sure. So let me just make like a little uh, triangle nose. We're gonna bring that over here and this might not work at all, but we're gonna try it. And then I'm using the flat pliers, so it will actually have like a little bit of a good bend in it. So if you have a wire that makes nice crisp bends, sometimes aluminum makes better bends. It really depends on the wire. Probably I made the nose not big enough, but this is the idea. So you would go down, form the nose, around because this is that's the tricky part right is to get the features of the pumpkin 
in a way that they're suspended in the wire. And that's always the trick with the wire is to try to put details in your design without like having to use resin or something like that. So if we have just like this so far, and then we want to form the mouth, but then we also want to have like some little teeth going on there or something like that. So if we just bend this, try to bend this in here and trouble is my flat pliers, you know, they don't have a very fine end. So I'm going to hop back and forth from my flat to my round pliers and the teeth might end up looking a little round, but if I did this larger, it would definitely work better. So we're just going to go around like this and then form the mouth around here. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So we're going to bring it in here. Oh, kind of like the way it's curved like that. And then we want to go up and do like another kind of suggestion of the teeth, right? So we're going to bring this up here, there, and down, and then up. Okay, so this is, it's coming along so far. And we want to make sure it's somewhat centered. So if this goes to there, I'm going to bring that up here, and then this one it might or might not be centered. This is where, you know, your perception of distances and depth perception, you know, gets tested. So now we want to do like another suggestion of a tooth here. I'm using the round pliers because my flat pliers just are not going to get into that small detail. So there, just to show you guys, so there's like the, the face so far. And then, um, in theory, you could go around there again to make your way back here. But I think for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to take this wire and bring it straight down. So there will be a line down the mouth, but I think it's fine. So this is the idea. So this is your first, uh, your first kind of bend, right? Your first line details. And we're going to hold that in place and bring this around to the back. Okay, so we're going to just put that there. I think it's going to be better if we just clip it. Uh, from, there we go. So let's, well, now I'm just going to make sure I don't cut through the actual pumpkin because that would be sad. So we'll just clip that and bring this to here. Yeah, maybe after this one I'll do the bat. Okay, so but we'll do the, we'll do the pumpkin first. So there's the first, like, air, that first bit. I think it looks better with that line to the back. And then we want to get another piece and do, like, another triangle there. So for that, what we can do is we could even form the triangle first if you want. So we're going to take this wire and bend that, okay, and... Uh, yeah, it's easy. I got it from one of the gals in the group. Yeah, there was a couple of people that made those pump pumpkins. I thought they were so cute. So we're going to go around here. Maybe I'm going to make the eyes a little bigger just to have a little bit like more impact. So let's just go around here. So we're going to, we want to form a triangle. Okay, we're going to bring that up here. I'm not really measuring it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And then back down, because we have to go down upon itself again, and then across, okay, and then down. So that'll be one eye, and that'll go on there. Oh, it's really cute. So we're going to bring this here and then here. And then, of course, the difficult part is actually getting it to sit in place, right? So we're going to position this where you want it so we're going to bring it around here and bring it around and i'm thinking it might be more secure if we twist it around a couple of times because i'm worried that it might not stay so i'm going to try i'm going to put it around like twist it around twice if you want to just twist it around once you could definitely do that too so we're going to just twist it around twice and uh there we go is there a certain part on Discord? Yes, it's the hashtag let's get wired. And if anybody has posted any pictures yet, um, after the pumpkin, I can go check and share them 
If you guys are working with me at the same time and you want to share your pictures in the Let's Get Wired section, you can do that. And or Amanda, yeah, if you want to share your picture of your 3D pumpkin, uh, that'd be super fun too. We could definitely, um, I can show that to people as well. That would be fun. So now this is the, the sort of the one I hear. And then we're going to just like this kind of forms what looks like the the line of the pumpkin. This is the idea, uh, whether it's actually going to stay or not. I'm actually wondering if rather than do three, like two separate pieces of wire, because it the wire like slides, eh? you see how it slides back and forth? It actually might be better if I just continue this wire and use the same wire on the other side. And then that way it would avoid uh, too much like moving around type of thing. So if we just get this one here and I'm wondering rather than just twist it, let me just see how it's going to look. If I bring that around here and then around to here, I could like twist, 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 but I don't want too much twists in there. So what I might do is just like bring that over a little bit, bring this here. Yeah. The other thing I could have done is done little teeny circles here and here and then the wire would have gone through it and it would have been more secure because that's the trouble is trying to fix things in a way that they don't slide like that's a real that can be a real issue right so let's just try it this way okay I'm gonna just try it this way and then I won't do it on the live stream but I will try other you know solutions for this to make sure that the wire doesn't slide but for now let's just do it this way okay and we're going to bring that one around here a little bit and then you can kind of adjust this so it's somewhat centered we can kind of play around with it after and then we're just going to pinch that in a little bit so this is so far it's coming along okay and then yeah, it worked. Did you share? Did you share the pic, Amanda? Let me know, and I'll I'll go check after. So now we want to do the other triangle, and it's, it would be nicer if you could kind of curve this out a little bit. I think it's going to give it more interest if it's more curved out. And this too, we're just going to try to curve it out a little bit, and then we are going to and maybe bring that one in a bit, and then we're going to just form the other triangle so let's go ahead and yeah discard awesome okay so I will go get the picture after I do the pumpkin so perfect so now we're going to take this and bend this to the side might not be completely even but it's pretty good so we're going to now form our other triangle it's a little trickier because it's not like it's on the um how do you say it's I'm not like it's attached so when something's attached it's very hard to actually you know work on it as much it's hard to get the the details so now let's just see if that it's going to be tricky to make them the same size bring that down okay this eye might be a little bit bigger but that's okay it's just to give you guys like an idea of how you can do like a more two-dimensional pumpkin but yet get some decent details in it because that's the hard part is getting any kind of details. So we're going to just go there. Yeah, the eye might be a little bigger, but that's okay. So we're going to go there and then bring this one up and then up. Whoops. There we go. Perfect. So there, oh, he's so cute. So there's pumpkin. And now what we want to do is attach the end. This one we can lift up a little bit now. So we're going to just attach the end in here. Make sure it's like slightly curved. Okay. Bring this one in here and then twist this towards in the middle. So I had plenty of wire. I uh, forget how long I cut this wire, the middle wire, but uh, I guess it was, oof, was it the eight inches? I've really lost track because we started with eight and then we did 12. So I think I did an eight inch and a 12 inch piece of wire. So we're gonna go here and then I'll do a little green stem because I think it'll be really cute. So then you can poke that in a little bit. Okay, Jody says no Halloween here due to lockdown. Yeah, we're we're in question about Halloween because the, the Prime Minister of Quebec has uh, closed everything for a month, uh, but it's opening on the 28th of 
uh, October, so they might or might not have Halloween, but I kind of highly doubt it right now. So here is um, here is the pumpkin, and now we need some green for the stem. So I do have some green. This is a little on the thick side. I was hoping to have some uh, thinner green, but we're just going to use this for now. So I wish I had thinner ones. Celine, pumpkins, yes, nice. So it's coming along, eh, Almond? Yeah, super cute. Thank you. So now let's just take a piece of the green. And then what I want to do is actually first make a little coil, like in a pumpkin plant. So we're just going to take this and coil the end. So we're going to go around, make a little coil like that. Perfect. Probably about like that much. This is what I do when I do my little reindeers at Christmas. And uh, and Jody knows because I made, she won one of the prizes in the 10-day uh, bracelet making challenge. And her prize was a special a tutorial. So she uh, requested something Christmassy and I made a reindeer decoration tutorial using this kind of technique and that tutorial will be coming up soon but Jody will get a sneak preview and she's got uh, like the prototype for that. So that's cool. So now if we take this for the pumpkin and we're just going to attach it onto here. So we're just going to attach it up here, up here like that. And that should be good. So maybe a little more. Perfect. Okay. And this is like twisting around. So what I think I'm going to do is actually form the loop at the top because you do need something to hang it onto. I'm just trying to think of the best way. I could wind that around as well, or I could just do like a little loop here. Okay. Cause you need to hang it onto something. And then if we kind of like do this around the loop, it should somewhat stay in place. That should be all right. So we're just gonna do this and cut it. This would have been easier with 20 gauge wire. Like the 18 is quite stiff. So if we have like that, and then it's kind of cute if you like bend this a little bit. So if we're gonna just bend it like on a bit of an angle like that. Maybe the stem is a little bit big. I'm gonna move the, actually I'm gonna center this a little bit more too. So I like that idea of work because kind of like bend the, bend the stem to the side, but center the loop a little bit more at the top. And um, it's not really bending that much because this wire is so stiff. So we're just gonna go like that. And that's kind of cute. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Eh? I think there's a lot of potential with this design. So there's our pumpkin. Whew, I'm exhausted. That was <laughs> a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. So Amanda said, clear be. So Amanda, let's go to Discord and see your pumpkin. So I'm going to open up Discord. And I'm in the lit. Oh, there we are. Whoa, Mustafa, you made the witch. Oh my goodness, you guys. Okay, hang on. I got to backtrack. Wow, wow, wow. You guys have been, <laughs> you posted a lot of pictures. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Lorraine says, I always like bats. So, okay, so you need help to where to start and where to finish. So we're going to do the bats next, um, Lorraine. So guys, here's Lorraine's bat so far. So we're going to definitely uh, do that one next. Here's, oh, here's Lorraine's. Okay, I just tried one of those based on your suggestion. Fantastic. So Lorraine did the 3D pumpkin. Looks amazing. Okay, and this is Amanda did little lacy ghosts. Oh, Amanda, they're so cute. Oh my goodness, those are adorable. And you put it on your pumpkin with boo. Oh, I love those. Let's like make let's like make those a little bigger so you guys can see. Look at the little lacy ghosts. I love them. Amazing. Wow, you guys are incredible. This is so much fun. I have to do these more often. And this is Almond. Wow, look at your ghost. He looks great. I love it. Fantastic. Oh my goodness. And Mustafa, this is amazing. You did that so quickly, guys. Look at this. That's incredible. That is so cool with the black wire. Great idea to do the black wire. Yeah, yeah. I probably should have done her in black. That's a that's a great idea. And I like the way your broom is all like 
um, kind of like all over the place like that. That's really cute. You did a great job. You guys are amazing. Wow. So yeah, so far we're doing great on on uh, Discord. So I'm just going to do one more thing. I'll do the bat. And then these are other templates. Oh, their cat's good too. And this is another one I wanted to do was the skeleton hen. I thought that would be really cute with wire or beads. But let's do the let's do the bat and then um, we'll see what we have time for. So, okay. So yeah, a lot of wows. Yeah, you guys are doing amazing. I'm so happy. So, and the ghosts are super fun, eh? Yeah. So let's get some black. We'll do the, we'll do the bat. Uh, I had a couple of bad ideas that I wanted to do. So let me, I'll do a big one and then I'm going to do like a slightly smaller one. So let's start with uh, 18 gauge wire. Okay. And I'm going to try something here because uh, that idea of doing like little loops in the pumpkin, I'm actually going to do it with the bat. So I'm going to see how it goes with that. Um, there's a couple ways you can do bats. You can follow the template for sure. You can go and follow the template. Or the other way you can do it is just if you don't have a template and you want to make it like a different size or something. The other thing you could do is do like one of my little hacks. Let's just try the little hack where you take your wire and then you just kind of like go this way a little bit. Okay, maybe I'm going to actually get a bigger round form. Let me just get a pen. Yeah, so here is, this is, this is a, I got a pen. So there we go. And that was the other thing I thought it would be fun to do Halloween pen toppers. Remember we did the pen toppers before? Okay, you guys know I get completely distracted. So I, I pulled these out thinking maybe we can do some Halloween pen toppers, but any of these designs you can put on the end of a pen. So those were from a previous uh, live stream. And so what we're going to do is just take this to do the, the bat wings. We're going to see if this is going to work. And then we're going to bend this end. Okay. Oh, someone's leaving. Uh, you super enjoy this. Oh, watch later. Okay. Baby woke up. Okay, Amanda. Thanks for sharing your pics. That's awesome. And then we're going to go this way and we're going to try this uh one two three so i need to do three of these i don't know if this is a good idea or not i should have maybe just followed the template but just for the sake of trying this i'm just going to try it so we're going to go this way and then get the pen again is that right oh one two three yeah i think that's good so if we go to go like that this might end up being way too big we're going to try it so we're going to go like this and then just go up this way. If this doesn't work, I'll just go ahead and, and retry the, the template. So we're going to go like this. See, this wire doesn't bend super, like on super good angles, but I can maybe fix that up after. So if we go here and just bring that up. Now, the idea I had here was to do like a little, is that the one? Uh, yeah, I think here. So if we do like a little... I don't know if it's going to work, but this was the idea. So you start your bat and then you open it up and then it's somewhat, you know, symmetrical. That's, that's where I was going with this to make it somewhat symmetrical. And then what from here, I'm going to just make these little circles here. I think this might, I might not have done this like quite long enough, but I'm going to just try this. So if we do like a little circle here. And then a little circle here, just bring this around here and then down like that. Like that might not have been a good idea, but we're going to try it and see. And then the idea here was you'd have this come down and then at that point you could put it on the template, I guess, if you wanted to, but we're just going to bring it down that way. And then this one, this is just to get, this is just for the design idea. So we're going to go around here like that one and then we have it's kind of neat it's kind of stylized and then you need of course the head right so we're going to bring that around here bring that one around here so I would finish it um, at the top like if you're wondering how to finish it I always tend to finish things at the top so that they could be like a little loop on the end especially with the bat design because you want to um 
you want to uh, have it somewhat, maybe have it centered. You don't have to have it centered. So if we just go in here and if you, it depends on if you want to form like a little, a little roundish face or something, you could do that. You can make it more round. I don't want it to be like too cutesy though either. So forget to bring that up. Okay. And then this one here too, you could bring it around. This is where the proportions get a little tricky. So we're going to bring that one around here. Okay. And then up like that. Yeah. Cause my original one didn't really have that. It was more like a Batman type thing, but uh, you can play around with the shape depending on what you like. Okay. So there we go. And now we want to do like kind of the bat ears, right? So basically what I would do is I would just do it like this little bat ears, bring it down around here. And there are little, there's a, there are little like, um, how do you say like a soft bend, but you could make them sharper with your flat pliers too. So basically what I would do to finish it, it looks a little cutesy, but I'm just trying to, maybe I'll just try to make these a little more pointy. Looks a little more menacing when they're pointy. When they're like soft curves, they don't look like super, looks more like a bunny than a, than a bat. So we're just going to bring this down. And uh, that's a little better to make them a little bit more pointy. And then the idea would be, the other thing I thought about was putting like eyes in there too. That would be super cute. You just stick some beads in there. That'd be fun. And we're just going to take this and wind it around. So, so that'd be like somewhat centered. We're going to bring this around a couple of times. You could also put a bead on the top if you just want an accent, or you can put like Halloween colored beads. It might be kind of cute uh, just to do something different. So I can see if I have some Halloween type beads. Let me see what I have. I have my miracle beads and okay. We're going to, I have a little orange here. I don't have a lot of like Halloween colored beads, but you can put like a little, a little bead there. And maybe if I have a black one, you could put a little black. Is that black? See, sometimes I can't tell for the color if it's black or blue. So there we go. So we could put like a black bead there. Here's another little, could almost be like a little sun catcher or something. If you can start putting like little beads on there. Here's another little orange one. That's fun. And I can put another little black one on there. Yeah, there's all kinds of things that you can do with these designs if you want to like accent them with with beads and stuff. So that's kind of cute. Just a little, let's just do it like that. I think it's fun with a little bit of color. It's super cute. So now we're going to just bend this end and then do, this would make a cool pendant too. And I'm going to just put some lines in the wings now. So we're going to bring that, whoops, I just bashed my iPods. We're going to go around here. And yeah, and then you just hang it like that. That's just one way to finish off the ends. And we're just going to now, because I wanted to add the little lines here. So this the this is my idea. We'll see if it works or not. And the idea was just to take your wire and put it through here and then bring this to the back, right? So we're just going to bend it like on a sharp angle but I don't know if it's, see, the trouble is I don't think I centered it super well. Like this maybe should have been, this definitely should have been over that way a little bit more. But just for the sake of showing you the design, this would be the idea. You just take this and go around here. Could have almost put a, put a little, um, a little loop in there too. That might've worked too, but I'll just go in here Clip that, put that there, and then this one too, we're going to bring that to the front. Okay, I like it when things have a little bit more detail, so this is kind of fun. It doesn't even have to be a straight line, you know, it could just be on a bit of a curve too, so that's fine. And then we're just going to bring that one around, bring that through here, hang on to it, bring that to the back, and clip it. So there we go. Perfect. So there we have like the one side. I really like the way that looks. I think it's funky. I think it's interesting. It gives it some, uh, some interest. 
And then we're gonna put one on here, through here, get in there. Whoa, I can't even see the hole. Perfect. Okay, for making the bat. I know you wanted to try other things. Oh no, not absolutely no, Lorraine. It's my absolute pleasure to make this because I, I'd like to make as many as these as possible uh, from the template, but I'll, I'll do what I can. And then, yeah, if ever you guys have other requests, just let me know because it's, it's in doing your special requests that I get motivated and inspired. And uh, recently I did uh, something uh, for somebody that was like uh, their kind of logo thing. And I was really super inspired. I'd added a color to it. So I actually discovered some new paints that you can color the wire with, which is really cool. So I'll show you guys that after as well. Actually, I'll just show you now in case I forget. But it's these, it's called ceramic paint. And you can actually color on the wire and it seems to stick. So that's if you, um, you know, because I've tried nail polish before and it's okay, but it's not great. But that ceramic paint works quite well. So let's just go ahead and add this one here. We're going to bring that one around. And this is really, really cool. I'm, I'm liking the way this looks. So and with the beads, colors, beads, I love that. It's really cute. So there we go. And... There is our little bat. So it's somewhat like the design. It's a little bit more uh, different with the head and stuff. So that's uh, definitely idea. So, so there we go. So yeah, I like, I like the loop. It holds it in place. And then this just gives it a little bit more detail, which is super fun. So let's do a cat. Let's do a quick cat as well, because that's fun. And I actually had a video that I I deleted a whole bunch of my videos uh, when the YouTube started that new rule about kids content like I was afraid that my channel would get blocked or I'd have trouble with my channel so so a lot of the videos like I had a tutorial for the ghost I had other tutorials for the skeletons and I ended up like removing all those videos because I was worried about this whole new YouTube thing but now I'm going to start re-uploading some of those older ones so you guys will have some more tutorials for uh, Halloween stuff. So Alicia says, it's beautiful. I would definitely wear it. Awesome. Okay. I have to make an, uh, another pair of bat earrings. Fantastic. So, so let's try to do the cat. And the cat was one that I'd done. I'd actually done like these bamboo skewers. And I put the, um, the cat on the ske skewer, like on the end of a skewer, which was really cute so you could uh, you could do like any kind of decoration you could maybe I wonder if you could maybe hang it like on the end like you do you could do a little little, little loop here maybe to hang it up would be cute but we're just um, we can just try something like that for the cat so we're just going to bring it around and then just form the I wonder if I could just do it freehand like that we can just for the sake of like showing you how to trace the templates I'm just going to do it freehand probably my fingers are going to lock up because when you put too much pressure on your fingers you can like they can like kind of lock up like the muscles can lock up but it should be okay so this if you want to just like if you have a soft wire this works really really well and then you can go in after and touch it up a little bit but just just to like show you how you can very easily trace a template you could definitely do something like this and then we're going to have the this go up here and then I think what would be fun is we just like do the same thing where we ended up there so we're then we're going to go on this side same thing and the way I drew the template is there's like a little bit of an overlap but I'm not going to bother with that for this sample because uh, I'm not using my tools or anything we're just going to go for it freehand I think it's going to be cute and sometimes things actually look nicer when they're freehand because they look a lot more artsy you know they look more fluid and this wire is great this is the beadlon artistic copper wire and the with the different colors and it's very it's a very like nice makes nice fluid lines which I really love and then if you need to like pinch the end in a little bit you can pin take it off and pinch it in so we're going to bring this down 
Cat kebabs. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, and actually what it was, was it was a collaboration with my friend Allie, who has another YouTube channel. She does, she has a Spanish channel, and she's from Mexico, and she lives here now. But, so we did a collaboration, and so she, her, on her channel, she showed how to make the, the kebabs, and basically it was candy kebabs. So you just have a, a bamboo skewer, you fill it up with candy and marshmallows and stuff for the kids, and then you put one of these cat things or the other ones at the top. So uh, look out for that video. I'll maybe repost it later today or tomorrow because um, I'm not too... It's actually not made for kids, you know? I mean, you could consider it made for kids, but it's just, it's just like a recipe video kind of thing, a DIY video. So... Anyways, like I said at the beginning when they started that new program with YouTube, uh, a lot of a lot of creators had to pivot and change what they were doing on YouTube. So so here's like sort of is a little maybe a little too on the fluid side, but but that's okay. We're just going to do that. I'm going to bring that one up a little bit and this one here and then you just would twist the end here. So that's always the question, right? How to finish off your designs because you don't want any loose ends. You want it to the design to look good. But if you do want something to hang up, it's always good to do a loop in the center to hang it up properly. And then you could also put a bead there if you wanted, or if you don't want it, if you want to just put it right on a string too, you could do the loop like perpendicular to the design, just go like that. And then you could just put it right on a, a necklace cord or on some kind of, uh, you know, design or something. And I actually just have one more design I wanted to do, and we're going to see if it's going to work. But um, I wanted to do like a bat on a moon. So that was the other design I had in mind that I didn't do. So this one looks a little bit nuts. She doesn't like super look like a cat now. She kind of looks like a camel. But uh, <laughs> this is the idea. You could definitely play around with that and see and you know what would be really cute is if you just like would fill this in with beads that's definitely something that you can do and that's something that I've done in the past where I take a thinner wire and then I go you could either like weave wire in there or just like take a thinner wire and just fill it in with beads I might try something like that that would be really cool I'll definitely play around with that I might do something else with it but that's sort of the idea so there's that one and then for the last one, I'm going to try to do like a moon and then a bat hanging down. So let's do that. And then that'll be it. Maybe arching the tummy portion a bit more would make it more cat-like. Yeah, I definitely have to tweak that shape because it doesn't look quite right. But uh, I'll play around with it for sure. So let's go ahead and take a piece of 18 gauge wire. And I'm going to get my round forms. Let me just see where I put them. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not sure where I put them. I usually have my my pill bottles that I use for the round forms, but I can't find them offhand, so I will use... Now, nah, is that round? That's not round. Here, I'll use this one. Here's a pill bottle with nails in it, so that's because I'm going to be working on more string art stuff. So let's go ahead and make the moon this might actually be too big so what about these yeah maybe i'll use this one so we're going to go around here and hopefully that's going to be a good shape might be a little might be a little bit small so to do the moon we're just going to go this way bring this one down to the back and bring this one around okay perfect yeah, it looks like a camel. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like a camel. Okay, so now um, ba -da -ba -da, I'll just use this. My ring form, bring this around. Perfect. So, and then if you want to hang something from the moon, it's good to do like a little loop here. So we're going to do a little loop here. Okay. And sometimes I've done these like earrings and what I do was I would hang a star from the from the loop which is super cute too. So I've de I've I've used this design a lot. I do it on cake toppers. I've done like and then I put people's names in the in the moon. So uh this is a really cool design like just in general with the moon. So now we're going to take this 
and bend it back. Whoops, snap. Bring that back here and then bring this one around here. And so that's so far. And then we're gonna twist this end around here. Let me move some of this stuff from the screen and take this and go around here. And then in the meantime, you guys can tell me if you're posting anything else in the Discord group and I'll definitely after this check and see if there's anything else before we go. And then after, uh, we can continue chatting in the Discord group after the live stream, which is super fun. And I will get my lunch and join the live stream, or join the Discord after this. So sometimes the, these lives go a little bit longer than planned. I usually try to do them about an hour, but uh, there's so many possibilities for these Halloween projects. I might have to do a second one. I have a, still a lot of projects I didn't work on. I like that skeleton hand and the skull. I definitely want to work on those too. So this would be like the moon type of thing. Uh, you could also do a little witch hanging down to go. That would be really cool. Eh? If you had a bigger moon and then you put the witch in front of a bigger moon, wouldn't that look super cute? I think that would look adorable. Like if you had, how big would she have to be? So um, yeah, so say you do like a a moon like that or something. And you could, yeah, even hang her, hang her down like that. Wouldn't that be cool? Like the witch on the moon? I think that would be super cool. So now let's get this one because I was thinking of a bat. So if we get this and we're going to get the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to try it with the silver wire and I'll just show you guys that paint just so you can see how it works. So I'm just going to get this copper wire. It's like a tin copper and then I'm gonna make the a small bat, but we need it quite small. Uh, 10 dogs, thought 10. I'm missing all this. <laughs> you guys, I have 10 dogs in my house today. Oh my goodness, that is insane. That's a lot of doggies, wow. So let's go ahead and make a small bat. Let's, it's gonna be a little tricky, but we can just try to do that. So we're gonna start in the middle I really want to make it small though. Like, I don't know how small I can make this bat too. And it's going to be a little curvy too. So it might not look so much like a bat, but we're going to see. So go like that. And then, yeah, this one I thought I'd do the, maybe the bat's wings a little more curved like that rather than doing them like the other bat. So if we're going to do them in here and then a bit like that. So let's try this here and then we're going to go uh yeah i want to make the middle the middle line look a little bit different just to kind of differentiate it a little bit i don't know if that's gonna work or not let me just see uh hmm you know what i'm just going to uh one two three one two three yeah I'll because I really don't want it to be too big. So you know what? I'm just going to not have anything go down there. And I'm just going to go like this. Because I really want to make it as small as possible. And then we're going to go like this. So probably if I had used a thinner wire, it would have been better. But for now, it's okay. We're just going to go down here. You know what else you could do? Is you could almost do like a bead for the bat head. Let me just, I'm gonna just play around with this. So we're gonna go like this and bring that down and go in here. And then I'm gonna twist this end around here. And I kind of like that idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but just to do a bead for the head of the bat. So in this case, I probably should have just used my black wire. So you know what, I'm going to, that's really cool. I think I'm gonna rather, because it's gonna be really messy if I try to paint that um, that wire black after. So I'm just gonna go back to my black wire and try this with a, um, a bead for the head. So let's just go ahead back to square one and we're going to, let's see how many times we have to do it, two. I think I'm just gonna do it like this. So go one, two, one, two and bring that up. 
and then here we've got up to two. So this is going to be, hmm, I think I'm going to do it like this. I don't know if it's like super proportion for a batch and should the arm, let's see if this should be going up or down, maybe up. Okay, if we go down here, okay, and then this one up here, and then this one. See, I should make these more pointy, but I think that's okay. We're just going to do it like that. It's not going to super look like a bat, but let's just see what we can do. So we're going to go up and down and up and down. Okay, perfect. There we go. So I'm going to twist this around and then just finish, clip the end. Okay, and we're going to put a bead for the head. So let me just go back to my beads and see probably a four millimeter bead because we want it to be quite small. I think the six might be a little bit big. So if we put a bead here, this is gonna see. Yeah, it's a little weird, but uh, I think just for the sake of trying something different, I'm going to, I'm gonna do this. And I might wanna like bring these down a little bit more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring these down a little bit more. And then the idea would be to hang it from here, so I think what I'm going to do is, let me just see how I wanna do this. Uh, if I wanna hang it from there or add a jump ring, I could just go ahead and hang it from here and you know, you could also try it with a jump ring as well, but I'm gonna just, just try it like this, just for the sake of doing something a little bit different. So there we go. You posted photos in the Discord group, awesome. So I'm gonna, after the bat, I'm gonna go check Discord we're gonna just bring this here. We're gonna stick this one in here. I could add another jump ring to it or like a little jump ring to it if I wanted to, just to make it a little bit different. And there is, it's kind of cute, the little bat on the moon. Okay, good. So let's go over to, to uh, Discord and see what's going on. I'm making some polymer clay, that's cool. Yeah, you could make some cool stuff for um, Halloween with polymer clay, that's for sure. So let me scroll down, see what you guys are doing. Awesome, so Mustafa did a bat, I love it. So cute, so there we go. And uh, uh, these are all yours, Mustafa, you did a ghost. Oh, it's, it looks great. Now is that, what did, what did you use, Mustafa, is that plastic? That's uh, like a plastic bag, it looks amazing. And Almond did the bat, wonderful. You're off to a great start, I love it. The shape is really good and you did a really good job on the, on the little points. That's fantastic. So guys, it's plastic, eh? That's so cool. So let's see what we did today. We did the little bat with the bat, uh, or the little bat on the moon. We did the bat, bat. We did the pumpkin, we did a lot. And then we did the witch on a broom. So let me know in the comments which is your favorite. Oh, and the cat. We did the cat, which needs a little bit of work, but it's not too bad. Amber was saying to arch this a little more so we could maybe arch it up a little more and see. But I think the cat has potential. We just have to work on it. But we did a lot, eh, guys? Wow. So let me know which is your favorite. The Broom Witch, awesome. All of them, says Paula. Oh, I love them all, fantastic. Janine, great to see the Discord pictures. That's what I love about this Let's Get Wired uh, thing. And Kat said all of them. Hey, Kat, how you doing? And uh, yeah, so we get to inspire each other. We get to share ideas. So I'm definitely gonna do another um, uh, Let's Get Wired uh, episode soon. The moon one. The moon is fun, eh? And the moon has a lot of potential. You could put like a little star hanging down. There's all kinds of things you can do with that. So I'll take some pictures. I'll post in the Discord group. I'm gonna grab my lunch and hop into the Discord group if you guys wanna keep sharing your stuff. And let me just flip the screen so I could say goodbye. There we go. There we go. 
And my hair is still wet, almost dry. <laughs> it takes hours for my hair to dry. The pumpkin, the pumpkin's fun, eh? And it's different having like a 2D kind of pumpkin like that. Uh, but the ones in the, in the Discord group are super cool too with the 3D uh, pumpkins, they're super fun. So guys, thank you so much. That was a blast. I had a great time. We were on for like an hour and a half and look out for this week. I'm gonna be reposting some old uh, Halloween tutorials that I had taken off my channel. I'm gonna put them back on my channel. Uh, keep sharing your Halloween stuff in the Let's Get Wired section of Discord. I'm gonna re-put the link to Discord. So if you're not already joined on Discord, uh, join the group. Uh, follow the hashtag let's get wired and I'll put it also in the description if you're watching the replay and uh, if, if you're watching the replay you can definitely uh, make some of this stuff post it in the discord group that's an ongoing group for people that watch my tutorials we share all, all different creations that we that we make uh, in the videos and the and the tutorials so yeah, so yeah, I'll post those soon uh, Amber good luck with your 10 dogs in the house uh, the next uh, live stream is I do a wire lady TV live stream every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time that's different than the let's get wired uh, uh, session those ones I don't share on discord so much I mean you can hop onto discord after the live streams but during the live streams basically I just troubleshoot ideas and stuff but these let's get wired ones I'll probably have another one maybe in not next week probably in two weeks I might do another one next week I, I usually announce it quite last minute so I'll let you guys know um, when there'll be another one. And have a great, amazing weekend. And we'll see you guys really soon. So take care. Bye.